massively odds on with the bookies to win this Thank you, ladies this and week. And Second set, I think it's fair to say it's going to take a first. super human tungsten performance from someone to take out Taylor. Yeah, you're dead right, Stuart. <laughs> Everybody's dipped Taylor. I have to say, including myself. Didn't last year, but. Uh, uh, 43. We'll see. As these two Englishmen already giving us a treat. Wonderful, wonderful first set. Over in next to no time. Tavern. 41. In quite brilliant form. Yeah. Is it going to be a second maximum? Oh, unlucky, unlucky. S sliding in and out off the barrel. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Well, we saw a magnificent 180 from Tavern in the last uh, set. All three points virtually in the same part of the board. And that wasn't much different, that one from uh, Steve Beaton. Uh, Beaton has never won more than two matches the PBC World Championship. And this is his eighth consecutive six. year. The first six, of course, at the Circus Tavern. The last two here. Big 18 to lead tops. Well, despite that maximum from Beaton, he's under real pressure here. He doesn't want to lose his throw at the start of this second set. Needs the treble 18. And Tavern here, you fancy. 40. Could be a set and a leg to the good. He's on a 13 data and uh, his average will go up if he hits it first dart yeah, over 100. 100 point two naught. He's averaging 15 darts per first. leg. Alan Tavern, four legs to nil ahead, a set and one leg up. And 100 point two naught is exactly 15 darts. He's thrown 60 darts, 61, 62 now, but four what legs in exactly 60 darts, Stuart. Terrific. Yeah, his finishing has been impressive too. Four out of six. And, uh, beaten here 100. has his work cut out because uh, he can ill afford a bad performance here. Doesn't want to slip any further down that order of merit. But at the oh, moment, no! Tavern is certainly a saint amongst darting saints here at the Alley Pally. This is getting ridiculous now. Putting the 180s in for fun. Two apiece. Three already in this set. Two oh. to beat. No, oh, that, oh, that one just swung away at the last minute. <laughs> what did it? It was unlucky anyway. 134. Uh, great response from Steve Beaton. Will it matter the way Tavern has been finishing? Treble 18 to leave double 12. A rare chance here. Steve Beaton hasn't had a dart and a double in this match yet. He might have to have a dart at ball here. No, double 18's a little belter. Double nine's got to be, got to be, got to be! Should have been closer than that. Tavern 40, but a fifth leg in a row. Well, he hasn't missed double top yet. Getting closer. Oh, <laughs> you don't you won't get much closer than that. Lifeline for Beaton. Well, you'd have to hit the wire to get closer than that without missing it. Chances are to slide in then. Now then, big dart again, double four to break his dock, but I'm afraid he won't get another chance, Beaton. Not the way Tavern's been thrown at this tops. He was two on the wire last uh, attack. Team there you are. Knew exactly oh, what he had to do there. The Five legs, legs in a row first. to Tavern. And on. those are the legs, Stuart, that Beaton has to win in order to give himself half a chance. 100. Well, Tavern averaging just shy of... 100 dipping now because he's not found the treble. It does there, but uh, this the best average we've seen so far, albeit we're only on uh, day two of the world championship. But uh, Tavern here producing the darts that we've seen consistently from him throughout 2008.
Yes, it has been a tremendous year, and I think the fact that he has become full-time professional now means that he can really, truly, fully dedicate himself to the sport he plays so well and loves so much. 60. I don't know what department of St. Helens Metropolitan Borough Council he worked in, Stuart, but I'd rather be playing arrows at the Alley Pally than sweeping streets in Adop. With all due respect. 60. Yeah, I think uh, from what I can gather, Tavern was having difficulty in juggling the timetable, uh, playing darts and work, and I think his employers and himself just couldn't reach an agreement. So I think uh, Tavern took the gentleman's way out, let's put it that way. <laughs> He's got the capabilities, you know, to, uh, to make a real name for himself and a really good living at the top level in the world of PDC darts. Yes, yeah, one of these games has you on the edge of the seat. Just slowed down a touch. I wonder if Steve Beaton has deliberately just slowed it 60. down. He does do that from time Steve to time. But both of them really go like a train. And now then... Double 91, six, single 16 would have left the ball, Steve. So, I'm sure you know what you want. And that was similar to his last attempt at double nine. Uh, well away, well away. He then singled it, of course, after that, but not very convincing from Beaton on the doubles. The first one goes in. Fancy this from Tabern. Still a chance at treble 19. So, Beaton. Yet to win a leg in this match. Five darts and a double he has missed. Chance here. Double nine to win his first leg of this first round match. And there it is. Well, he's taken his time. You feel a lot better about that. Yeah, I'm ready to be. You see from that replay there how cleverly he made use of that first dart. It was locked up in that corner. He aimed high knowing that he could 100. nestle it just underneath. It acted as a buffer, a marker, if you like. He doesn't deliberately send it out as a marker. He's going for the double all the time. But what a way to use it once it's there. Well, terrific crowd here at the Alexandra Palace, and they've been treated to some terrific touches as well, especially from Alan Tavern. Just noticed about Steve Beaton, you know, we've talked about the fact that he's one of the smoothest throwers out there. Just have a look at the next time that Steve Beaton throws. For me, there's a split-second gap be be 60. just before the release. There's a little jerk back. It's not as smooth. There we go. Yes. You see it? I've not seen that little jerk there. Do you see from Beaton? Not seen that before. 100. Yes. I, I, it's something I've not noticed before, I've got to say. And I, I'm not saying that it's never been there. It probably has been. But it, it's interesting that you've, you've noticed that. Yeah, just coming up here. A just a tiny a, detail. Yeah, a little pause. A little pause. There we go. Just a, just a little pause. A little pull, pull back of the dart before he releases it. The hand it. is only oh, coming back an eighth or a quarter of an inch from its original position. But for, Double 12 for Tavern. 137 needed now Steve for Beaton to level this second set. But for me, I've not seen that with Beaton before there. It's normally so smooth, but just a little delay. A fraction of a second, John. Double six then for Tavern to make it two sets to nil. A oh, lovely lie for Tavern. And uh, there was no doubt whatsoever that that second dart was going in. And the world number nine is so far producing one of the best performances we've seen so far at the World Championships. Tavern is two up against Beaton. 